పవన్ కళ్యాణ్ గారు ఇందాక ఖమ్మంలో ఒక ఓల్డ్ ఏజ్ హోమ్ కన్స్ట్రక్షన్ కి నేను హెల్ప్ చేస్తున్న అదే టైం లోనే పవన్ కళ్యాణ్ గారు హెల్ప్ చేశారు అండ్ దానికన్నా ముందే ఇన్ఫాక్ట్ నేను జాయిన్ అవ్వక ముందే పవన్ కళ్యాణ్ గారు హెల్ప్ చేశారు అండ్ నేను ఎప్పుడైతే వీడియో పెట్టాను ఆయన ఫ్యాన్స్ అందరూ వేసినటువంటి అమౌంట్ తో ఆల్మోస్ట్ టెన్ డేస్ లోనే ఎంత అమౌంట్ కావాలో అంత అమౌంట్ వచ్చేసింది You're all science students and humanities is very, very essential. Humanities is the one, gives the purpose. Philosophy, art forms, social sciences, this all would give you the purpose of any invention. The ultimate learning for anything is for a betterment of other, other human beings, betterment for all the individuals, for entire humanity. All you are equipped with a great knowledge, great expertise, but if all the knowledge and expertise does not help the, our fellow human beings or humanity, the purpose would be lost. Technology and innovation should have a human face. We should have empathy. And Oppenheimer, after blasting the first nuclear bomb, he said, we have unleashed death. I have become the death merchant. And that kind of technology would, will never make us happy. It is about a simple invention. A simple app which would better lives. For example, in recent times, we know about Steve Jobs. He's the greatest modern day innovator. His Apple is one of the most valuable companies on the planet with a line of products from Apple laptops to iPods and iPhones. Apple products are tech savvy, classy and comes with great features. If you had iPhone 13 last year, this year you had to buy the next phone and next year and so on. Thousands of techies in global giant like Apple spend 90% of its R&D and time for that niche 2-3% to of world population. But 
what i would prefer is i'll never say steve job kind of entrepreneurs are not needed but they they are needed but i would like to share one more story of how many of you would would be knowing this story is dr dilip mahalanibis during the 1971 liberation war over 10 million people from nearby areas of present day bangladesh entered into india as refugees a massive cholera epidemic started in the refugee camps there were hardly any medicines or trained staff or doctors dr dilip mahalanibis deployed the ors uh, ors therapy which is known as oral rehydration solution even before it was given approval by the authorities even though the doctor took the flak this time this timely intervention saved millions of people and thanks to his ors therapy it saved 5 crores lives globally today all the 190 plus countries use ors the lancet journal called the ors therapy as the greatest discovery of 20th century he, but he never patented that's what i'm trying to say his brilliance his intelligence his intellectual prowess he never pay, with about in spite of having everything but he never patented this his therapy and did not exploit it for a commercial purpose at the age of 87 years the great human being passed away last year and was awarded the padma padma vibhushan by the government of india even today 24 by 7 365 days his innovation saves millions of people all over the world so my advice is to all the graduates going to be graduates here is to think about ideas and innovation that are simple successful sustainable scalable and work on tech that improves social mobility and reduces inequalities so admire and adore steve jobs but find your own dilip mahlan be in you besides all the jazz gloss and shiny glitz what's more important is not the tech but the impact which is going to cause to the to your fellow human beings